back if things it were over, you made a way. Now we're standing. Now we're standing here only because you made a way. How many know that he's made the way we need? Hallelujah. And now we're here. Looking back. Because of you and nothing we've done To deserve the love and mercy you've shown Your grace was strong enough to pick us up And you, you made our way Hallelujah, when our backs, when when our our backs, backs were against the wall, wall and it looked as if it were over, you made a way. And we're standing here. And we're standing here only because you made a way. made a way. How many know it's him? Hallelujah. When our backs against the wall. And it looked like it was over. You made a way. And we're standing here, hallelujah. And we're standing here. Only because, only because hallelujah, you Jesus, made you made a way. a way. Hallelujah. How many know that he moves mountains? Hallelujah. He moves the mountains. You move mountains. You cause war to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. That's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made. You move mountains. How many know he moves mountains? You cause walls to fall with your power. With your power. You perform. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you made a way. Hallelujah. How many know we don't know how he's going to do it, but he's making a way. Hallelujah. Right now, hallelujah, as we look around, hallelujah, at the state of things, hallelujah, in our world, hallelujah, hallelujah, we could, we could fall back, we could give up hope, hallelujah, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to say, Lord, you, you're the one that made a way in the past, hallelujah, and we're going to trust that you're going to make a way. We know that you're able to move mountains. Oh, God, we know that you're able to move mountains. And it's because of that, oh, God, that we can stand here today. So we just welcome you into the house of God. And this morning, we just want to open up with a hand clap, hallelujah, of praise, hallelujah, to the God that makes the way, to the God that makes the way, hallelujah. Anybody know he's the God that makes the way? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You move mountains, oh God. We thank you this morning. Hallelujah. We come before your presence, oh God, with thanksgiving, oh God. Thanking you for who you are, God. Who you are to us, oh God. Who you are becoming even now, Lord God. That we're knowing you, Lord God, to make a way in the midst of every situation, God. And we just come this morning and we clap our hands, hallelujah, in your presence this morning because you're good, oh God. We're not going to look at the circumstances this morning, but instead we're going to look at you, God, who you are, hallelujah, and what you do, hallelujah. You make a way, hallelujah, hallelujah. And we're just going to go before the Lord in prayer this morning. Because I know that there are people with needs, hallelujah. We know that they're sick, hallelujah, among us. There are people that are struggling. But God, he's the way maker, hallelujah. 
Do you know him to be the way maker? Hallelujah. I know, hallelujah, he's a way maker. Hallelujah. And so right now, we just want to lift up. I want you to lift up the names of people that you know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That may be sick. Hallelujah. 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 That may be wounded and broken today. Hallelujah. That need healing. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we just want you to move. Hallelujah. In our midst, oh, God, today. Oh, God, touching the hearts and the mind of your people, oh, God. Oh, God, somebody needs to be encouraged today. We pray, hallelujah, encouragement, hallelujah, for your people, oh, God. There are some that are ill, oh, God. Oh, God, and we just pray a healing touch, oh, God. It's only you that can do it, oh, God. We look to you, God. You are our salvation. You are our healer, God. You are an awesome wonder, God. You're everything that we need. And we look to you this morning. Oh, God, we can't do it on our own strength, oh, God. We don't look on our own strength, oh, God. But it's by your spirit this morning that we ask that you go, Lord God, and heal and make a way, hallelujah, in those with the diseases today, hallelujah. Oh, God, that are breaking down their bodies, oh, God. And we just pray a healing touch this morning. Oh, God, you were wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, hallelujah. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, oh, God. And it's by your stripes, oh, God, that we're healed. And we pray, oh, God, that shame and healing, oh, God, would move through this place, move through the lives and the, the hearts and the bodies, oh, God, of those connected to us. And even through our land, oh, God, let healing go forth in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Why don't you just go ahead and praise him? Praise him, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. How many know that he is an awesome wonder? Hallelujah. This next song that we're singing, hallelujah, doesn't have a lot of fancy words to it. But like the praise team and, and I, we were just, just thinking about the fact that, hallelujah, it's the words, awesome wonder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's an awesome wonder. Sometimes God does things and it just makes you say, Lord, you're a wonder. You are a wonder, Lord. I couldn't have figured that out. I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have made a way. But you, oh God, you are an awesome wonder. And it goes on. He says, provider. Oh, a provider. Hallelujah. Anybody need anything provided? Hallelujah for them. Defender. Hallelujah. He's a defender. Hallelujah. He said that he's the master of the universe. Sometimes we forget the God we serve. Hallelujah. He's not a second class God. Hallelujah. He's the God of all. Hallelujah. Everything. Hallelujah. Must bow before our God. Hallelujah. So that's why we don't have to fret. Hallelujah. We don't have to be afraid because we serve the master of the universe. Hallelujah. And it goes on to say that he even knows us. He knows our weaknesses. So he knows when we hurt, hallelujah. He knows when, when we doubt, hallelujah. There's a scripture. It said that it even asked that he would help our unbelief. So there's times that we even need help, hallelujah, in our faith, hallelujah. But he is so faithful, hallelujah. He can help even our unbelief, hallelujah. So we're just going to sing this song. And we want you just to reach out to him this morning. Because he is the awesome wonder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Provider, defender, master of the universe, you know me. You are an awesome wonder, provider, provider defender, defender, master of the universe, you know me. You are an awesome wonder, provider, provider. Defender, master of the universe, you know me. You are, you are an awesome wonder. Oh, what a wonder you are. Somebody, hallelujah. Oh, you are an awesome wonder. Weakness. 
weakness. You know, you know just where I hurt the most. That's why I call you healer. You know me, Lord. You know me. My weakness. My weakness. You know God. You know just where I hurt the most. And that's why. That's why I call you. I call you healer. Come on, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, what a healer. What a healer you Do you know him to be a healer this morning? Oh, 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 oh. You, you are an awesome healer. Oh, you're a healer. Oh, 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 oh. what a healer you are. Oh, 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 oh. you are an awesome healer. Your kingdom. Your kingdom. Establish. Establish. You rule. You rule the heavens and the earth in my life. You are an awesome. You are an awesome ruler. Your kingdom. Your kingdom. Establish. Establish. You rule. You rule the heavens and, and the in earth. In my life. In my life. You are an awesome ruler. Oh, what a ruler you are. Anybody know he's an awesome ruler? Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are an awesome ruler. Oh, what a ruler you are. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, you are an awesome ruler. Your kingdom. Your kingdom established. established. You rule, oh God. You rule the heavens and the earth in my life. Why don't you let him rule in your heart? You this are morning. an awesome. Let his peace rule this world. Your kingdom. Your kingdom established. established. You rule, oh God. You rule the heavens and the earth in my in life. life. You are an awesome. You are an awesome rule. Somebody say, oh. Oh, what a ruler, what a ruler you are. Oh, what a ruler. Oh, you are an awesome ruler. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, what a ruler, what a ruler you are. Hallelujah. Oh, you are an awesome ruler. Provider, provider. Provider, defender, defender, master, master of the universe. You know me. You are. You are an awesome wonder, wonder, provider, provider, defender, defender, master, master of the universe. He knows us. You know. You are an awesome. You are an awesome wonder. Somebody say, oh. Oh, what a wonder, what a wonder you are. Oh, oh, what a wonder. Oh, you are an awesome one. Why don't you sing it to him? Oh, what a wonder, Lord. What a wonder you are. Oh, you're a wonder, Jesus. Oh, you are an awesome wonder, wonder. Your kingdom. Your kingdom established, established. You rule, you rule the heavens and the earth in my life. You are an awesome, you are an awesome ruler. Your kingdom, your kingdom, your kingdom established, established. You rule the heavens and the earth in my life. You are an awesome, you are an awesome ruler. Oh, Oh, what a ruler, what a ruler you are. Oh, what a ruler. Oh, you are an awesome ruler. Oh, you are a ruler. Oh, you are an awesome. What a ruler you are. You are so awesome. Oh, you are an awesome Hallelujah. Why don't you just praise him this morning? He's an awesome ruler. Hallelujah. Let him rule your heart this morning with peace. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Bless your holy name today. Come in like a flood, like a mighty rushing wind. Touch everybody today. Bless his church, Lord. Bless your people today. Pour out your anointing, God, on us, God. Let us leave changed, Lord. Let us leave better than when we came, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I feel the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I believe somebody came today expecting to be in God's presence. We don't want church just as just some motion or something like that. We, we want the presence of the Lord to come in this place. If there's ever been a time where you need the presence of the Lord, it's today. It's not just today, but it's this moment. This particular moment in time, we need God to show up. Amen. The Lord is doing real good. Hey, Brother Daniel. Good to see you, brother. Amen. Y'all may be seated. Man, we've been having some fantastic services around here. Pastor's been preaching and teaching and doing, well, he's been preaching and just some fantastic verses that he's been using from the, the, the Holy Scriptures that I'm looking at them the following week and I'm going, man, that's a great verse. Man, that's a great verse. You know, and you're just, it, but I, I never said that's a bad verse. So every verse in that Bible is, is a great verse because it's the, it's the Word of God. Amen. Thank you, Sister Tamika, for singing those couple of songs. We're glad to have everybody here today. A lot of you might have received a, uh, a, a card from the church. It was handwritten by uh, Brother um, Mike and probably Sister Clausen. I've seen his handwriting. He didn't write it. Amen. And thank you, Sister Charlotte, for, for addressing everybody. I want you to get your props, your roses. Amen. Amen. But all of those cards were made by, um, by, oh, Sister Allie. She designed all those cards, plenty other different cards. The, the, the girl's talented. Just, you, you just can't imagine how talented she is. Uh, she, she must get it from um, her grandmother. Um, I was hoping I might get a carrot cake out of that right there. Hey Amen. They're, they're very good. Sister Chowley, you did a great job. Last week, you did wonderful. I'm really excited about what the Lord is doing here. Amen. Working through young people. Amen. New singers. It's going to be singing again soon. Sister Billie Jean is a great singer. She's going to be singing soon. She's going to either sing either by hook or by crook. By left hook. Or by my crook. Amen. She does, she does great. Amen. We want to say thank you, everybody, last week for maybe, in, in my opinion, um, one of the best Christmas programs that we've had in many, many years last Sunday. It was just really, really good. Everybody participated. I didn't feel any pressure. Nobody felt... <laughs> I mean, maybe they did, but it's not about them. It's, it's about me. But I didn't feel any pressure. It was just like we were just a family. We just come here to, to have a Christmas program, uh, support our children, support Sister Sims and all the effort that, and that she puts into that children's work back there, and just and, and, and to support our, our family here at Victory Tabernacle. Amen. The Lord's been doing some, some wonderful things around here, and I'm really excited about what he's got going for us in 2021. 
2020 was a great year. How dare us say that a day that he created and said was good wasn't good? How dare us to say it was a bad year? Last time I checked, everything that God made, it was good. I know it was good because he said it was good. Amen. Now, how you perceive his goodness and how you perceive his creation, that's not his problem. That's only developed through your eyes and and, and, and your rose-colored glasses. But my God is, first of all, he is perfect. And he is holy. And we are not. So it's hard for us to picture pure holiness because we can only see flawed beings. But God comes into this place to help elevate us one little bit at a time, one day at a time, so we can get more, to be more like him. That I'll be satisfied when I wake in his likeness. We're always trying to climb that ladder, learn more about the Lord, learn more about his people, learn more about his love, and and so we can be better Christians and so that we can give what we have received from him freely so we can give it to them freely. Amen? Amen. We're going to ask our ushers if you would come. Brother Corey, it's glad to have you back. Anybody seen the videos of Brother Adam today? It was really funny, Brother Adam. um, Great job back there. If you haven't seen him, you're not missing anything. Amen. Give as the Lord has blessed you. Let's sing. Let's worship. Amen. Let's just have ourselves a Holy Ghost time today. Amen. Sing. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a fellowship, what a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. We're leaning on his arms this morning. What a blessed we don't have peace, what y'all. A peace is yeah, leaning. leaning on the everlasting arms. And we're leaning, for oh, we're leaning, safe, safe and secure from all along. Yes, we're leaning. leaning. Oh, yeah. Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, we're Secure from all along. Oh, we're leaning. Oh, we're leaning. Leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day. Leaning on the everlasting arms And we're leaning Oh, we're leaning We're safe, y'all Safe and secure From whatever, from hallelujah, all God Because we're leaning Leaning Oh, yes, we're leaning Leaning Leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms I have blessed peace with my Lord so near Leaning on the everlasting arms And we're leaning, oh we're leaning We're safe, safe and secure from all along Yes, we're leaning, oh yes, we're Everlasting arms. Oh, we're leaning. leaning. Oh, we're leaning. We're safe, safe and secure from all, from all along. Oh, we're leaning. leaning. Yes, we're leaning. Leaning. Hallelujah. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Are you washed in 
in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments? Are your garments? Are they s p o t l e s they white? Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Come on, are you washed? Well, are, are you washed in the blood? In the blood. In that soul cleansing blood. In the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? Are your garments are they white? spotless? Are they white? As are you washed? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? You can be washed. Are you washed today? Hallelujah! In, in the, the blood. blood. Hallelujah! In the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Come on, what can wash away my sins? What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And what? What? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious! Oh, precious is the blood that makes me that makes white as snow. White as snow. No other. No other. No other. No other. No other. No o t h e r No o t h e r No other. 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 Nothing but the blood of Jesus. You know what? And what can make me whole again? There's nothing. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Can somebody say precious? Oh, precious! Hallelujah! It's the that blood that makes me that makes me white as snow. No other. No. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. One more time. What can wash away? What can wash away? Do y'all know it's nothing but the blood? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. If you're broken, He can make you whole. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. Of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's precious. Oh, precious. Hallelujah. It's the blood. That w a t e s That makes, makes me, me white as snow. No other, no other fountain. fountain I know. Oh, nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah! Nothing but the blood. Hallelujah! Nothing but the blood. I said nothing but the blood. Hallelujah! Whatever you need, Hallelujah! Whatever you have, why don't you just let it flow over you today? Hallelujah! Nothing but the blood is going to cleanse us and make us whiter than snow. Hallelujah! It's something, it's something that comes over us when we think about that. Hallelujah! That there's not a, any amount of scrubbing or washing that we could do to make our own self clean. Hallelujah! Oh, but the blood! Hallelujah! But the blood, when applied, Hallelujah! It can make me brand new. Hallelujah! It's something about that blood. Hallelujah! Woo, we thank you, Lord, for your blood this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I said, somebody shout praise the Lord. We can do better than that. Is this thing on? Going to learn how to use those things back there. One day, it's on, bro. Hallelujah! Good to have you in the house of the Lord today. My God, we got a Holy Ghost service going on here. Holy Ghost service. How precious the Spirit of God! Appreciate this good singing. Amen. Reminds me of being an old time Pentecostal church service, and that's what I like. It's kind of, it's kind of what we like. We, how we, how we come up, and it's how we're going to go out too. Old time Pentecostal worship. Thank God for it. It's anointed singing, anointed uh, worship. We're grateful to God for that. Grateful to God for you being here. Appreciate you making the effort to come in this holiday season. We uh, 
We're here together uh, on this Sunday before Christmas. Uh, of course, you know, uh, Christmas Eve, Thursday, Christmas is Friday. And, uh, we, we trust and pray everybody has a great holiday with your families. There will be no service here Wednesday night. We're having a rehearsal for Sister Faith's wedding. Her wedding is Saturday. At what time, Sister Wilson? Faith's wedding is 2 o'clock? 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock. So uh, everybody's invited. Isn't that right, Brother Billy? Everybody's invited to the wedding? Sister Faith over here. Sir? Christmas is Friday, yes. Oh, we, we, we can't get by without saying that. No, that's a good thing. So uh, Christmas is Friday. Sister Faith's wedding is 1 o'clock Saturday here at the church. And then service here. Uh, I'll, I'll announce whether we have it at 10 or 11, but... Um, Everybody's got to make sure you let Brother Tally know happy birthday. Because he just told you that's what you wanted. He, he wanted you to do that. He wanted you to tell him happy birthday. It's what, eight, what is it, 85 or 6, brother? 88. Hold, hold on a second, Brother Scott. Hold on. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know about that. Well, praise the Lord. Marcel and Anna, good to have y'all this morning with us today. Appreciate that. Mar Marcello. Daniel, I wondered what in the world happened to you, man. I thought he done fell off the I thought he was fell off the earth like they said it when it was flat. If you go too far, you fall off. They finally figured out it was round. You didn't have to worry about falling off it. So uh, Daniel's alive and well. You look good back there, man. Good to see you, my brother. We love you. Love your family. Appreciate you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you and your family loving the Lord, serving God like you do. Amen. I'd like to bring your attention to the book of Luke, please, in your Bibles this morning, if you have your Bibles. Luke chapter 2. And uh, we're going to begin reading at the seventh verse in your Bibles, please. If you don't have your Bibles with you, you can just look up here on the monitor. And uh, am I, is my lapel on, guys? Okay, uh, Luke chapter 2, verse 7. And we're going to begin reading here for a few verses. Amen. If you found it, say Amen. Praise God. Amen. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid. The angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. A lot of y'all can quote these verses, but we're going to get to the 14th verse is where I want to go to. For unto, us a bor for unto us is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And there shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. I want us to look at that first little uh, line here of this 14th verse. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Lord, thank you for your word today. Thank you for God, the sweet, precious people that have come out this morning. Thank you for all these that's watching from home today. Thank you, God, that you're doing your work in our lives. And Philippians 1 and 6, Lord, what you have started, you will finish in us. We give you praise, honor, and glory this morning because you are King and Lord of all. You're the high, high and lifted up God. You're the exalted God. We magnify and praise you with our lips and our worship and our praise today. Amen. Your words so that everything that's breath praise you, Lord. And we praise and we bless you this morning. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the service today. Help us to be a blessing to your sweet people, we pray. 
In Jesus' name, put those hands together and give the Lord a mighty praise. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Somebody lift your voice with that. Come on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, God. 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 You can be seated today. The Lord bless you. I do want to thank those that are giving to the church and partnering with us here to continue to preach the gospel here and get the good news of Jesus Christ out. We, we we're honored that, that you support the church. Those that are not coming, many are still supporting the church financially. And we're so grateful to God for you and so grateful for you doing that. And we, we pray sincerely the Lord's blessings upon you. And we know the Lord will bless you and is blessing you for doing that. Amen. I want to explore this little passage about glory to God in the highest. And I, I, I want to focus on this highest part. I know it's a Christmas themed passage, and I'm not going to preach so much necessarily a Christmas message, but I want our focus to be today on this highest part of this verse. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. The Bible says, and we understand that God fills all in all, fills time, fills space, eternity, past, present, and future. Uh, God fills all in all. He's, 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 uh, he's all around us. He's He's in the earth. The Bible said, if I make my bed in hell, he's there. If I ascend to the heights of the heavens and clouds, he's there. Where can we go from the presence of the Lord? You can't get away from the presence of God, which some people are not glad about that, but I'm glad about that. Amen. Sinners don't like that so much, but, but if you're walking right with the Lord, you don't mind being in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, Brother Dale, it is our desire to be in the presence of the Lord. So... He, he's close by. As a matter of fact, the Bible says he's even near. He's even in our mouth. He's, he said we can feel out after him and find him for he is not far from any of us. He is a very present help. He's a close help in the time of trouble. He's, he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. He's not a God afar off, the Bible says, but he is a God nigh at hand. He's, he, he's close to us in times of trouble and need and, and discouragement and hurt and, and, and situations. Lord, thanks and praise. He's a God that'll make a way this morning. He's a God that makes a way. Amen. So we understand. I want to just, I just want to establish this, this little line here just for a moment. He's a God that is close by. He's a God that is near at hand. He is a God that you can't get away from him. You may try to run from him, but you can't get away from him. He, if he wants to, he can find you. Matter of fact, if he wants to, he can track you down. He can run you down. He'll find you. We used to sing a song. It's an old kind of a folk song. No hiding place down here. No hiding place down here. I cried for the rocks. The rocks didn't fall on me. No hiding place down here. You can't get away from God. I don't care how much you sin. I don't care how much wickedness you do. You still got him to deal with. He's all around us. I don't know that we know it today, but he's really in this building right now. We remember that, right? We're two or three are gathered together in his name. He's here. And why is he here? This isn't in my notes, but I'm going to tell you why he's here. He's here because we're here. And he's here because he loves you. And he's here because he wants to help you and talk to you and bless you and touch you. He wants to make a way for you and love on you. He wants to wrap his arms around you. He wants you to feel him, to know him, to love him, to worship him, to experience him, to enjoy him this morning. God's here because we're here. And how do I know that? Because I know I brought him with me. And he brought him with you. And you're not going to be able to get away from him. You got him on your hands. You got to deal with him. Now or later, you'll have to deal with him. And I'd rather deal with him now. The Bible says for us to humble ourselves in the sight of God, and he'll lift us up. We'll either be humbled now or we'll be humbled then. 
I choose to humble myself now. I choose to fall. Oh, we'll fall on our knees either here or over there, but we will fall on our knees. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So I confess right here. I bow right here. I honor Him right here. I serve Him right here, right now, today. He is my God. He is our Savior. He is our Lord. He is our King. Hallelujah. So we might as well just do it now because now is better than later. Hallelujah. So he's a very close God. He's a very close help. He's, he's just, we, we've heard it all of our lives, those that grew up in this. He's just a prayer away. He's just a, just a whisper away. He's just a, he's just a look away. Just a call to him away. He's just, he's that close. He's that close. He's, and I, I just really want to establish this this morning. He is that close of a God. You don't have to go far away to find Him. You don't got to really be good to find Him. You don't got to have all your I's dotted and your T's crossed or all your ducks in a row. You don't got to have all your bills paid or have lived a good life. All you have to do is call upon Him and He'll come. If you'll look to Him, He'll answer. If you'll reach out after Him, you can find the Lord today. How many is glad when you reached out, you found Him? How many is glad when you prayed, he came? How many is glad when you had a need, he said, I can help you meet that need? When you were lost and you repented, how many is glad God forgave you of those sins? God came, God heard you, God rescued you, God made a way for you this morning. So let's, uh, let's just, let's not get over that part, y'all. Let's just, let me just reestablish this today. This isn't my message, I promise you I'm going somewhere. This isn't my message, but I'm going to reestablish this today. Jesus Christ is a close, very near God and friend to us. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you how close he is. He is looking for ways to come find you and bless you. And help you and provide for you and show you the way. He's looking for ways to do that. Matter of fact, Deuteronomy 28 says that he'll, that he'll chase us down with blessings. He says, if you'll keep my commandments and you'll do what I ask of you to do, he says, I, my blessings will overcome you. I will overcome you with blessings. He said, I will chase you down. I will find you. I'll run you down. And I will bless you. And I'll love on you. And I'll keep you. And I'll show you. I'll be a God to you. And you can be my people. I will track you down. I'll chase you down. Oh, come on, somebody. How many is glad God has our number? How many is glad God knows where we're at? How many is glad that God knows where we're at? at today you may be in a home where nobody calls on the Lord but God knows where you're at you may be in a place where nobody loves the Lord in your workplace but God knows where you're at somebody shout he's a very close God today he's a very close God today he's a very close God today and I said all that to say this. He's not only a God that's close at hand. He's a God that is highly lifted up. He's a God that's exalted. He's a God that is on high. He's a God that nobody is higher and nothing's higher than him. Hallelujah. He fills all in all. The heavens can't contain him. He's so high and big and awesome, the heavens cannot hold him back. There's no room for him in all that. We serve a high and a lifted up God. We serve an exalted God. We serve a magnified God. We serve a glorious God. He is a God that's large and in charge, and he is worthy of our praise today. Somebody give the Lord a little praise in the house here this morning. Woo, hallelujah. Look at these verses, Psalms 47 and 2. I'm going to go through some verses for you and share these with you. Psalms 47 and 2, for the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He's the Most High Lord and He is terrible, meaning He is awesome and He's mighty and He's wondrous. 
And it's mind blowing. He's he's mind blowing. I, 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 we need to get back to having our minds blown by God. We need to get the awesomeness and the wonder back about God. He's way bigger than our, our finite brains can figure out. He's way higher than any of us have ever been. He's higher than the highest office in this land. He's the most high God. He is the most high potentate. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And he is a terrible king, meaning he's a mighty king. He's an awesome king. He's an incredible king this morning. Go to the next verse, Brother Adam. Look at these few verses here. That men may know that thou whose name is Jehovah is the most high over all the earth. God answers to nobody. God answers to himself. He can find none to swear to, so he swore to himself. He's the most high over all the earth. Let all the powers of the earth be raised up. Let all the dominions and principalities, let all the thrones of the earth, let all the kings and rulers and all, all, the, all the mighty men of the earth rise themselves up, but they will never rise higher than our God. He sits on the throne of heaven in glory. I wish y'all were. Come on, y'all. There's only one throne and he's on that throne. There's a few thrones here on this earth, but they're nothing like the throne of God. He sits on the throne of heaven. He sits on high and he beholds down below and he wonders and he works his works among the children of men. Our God is a high and lifted up God. Look at Psalms 83 verse 18. We're going to go through these pretty fast here. The men may know that thou whose name alone is Jehovah art the most high over all the earth. Isaiah 61, Isaiah says in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up and his train, meaning his glory through the temple. He said, I saw the king died, but I also saw the, the, the real king was high and he was lifted up and his train, his glory filled the temple. Let me tell you something about our God, y'all. His glory is ever more, every more everywhere. His glory is awesome. His glory fills the temple. His glory fills the world. His presence fills the whole world. Kings of men will die, but he doesn't die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. High and lifted up. We give a few more verses, y'all, to go with this. Psalms 113 and 5. Who is like the Lord who dwelleth on high? 93 and 4. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters. This is Isaiah 33 and 5. The Lord is exalted for he dwelleth on high. Psalm 68 and 18 says he hath ascended on high and he led captivity captive and he gave gifts to men. Our God is a God that lives high in the heavens and he, he lives on the throne of glory and he is way beyond what any, any man can ever attain to or come up to. I'm telling you everybody, there's no king like our king. Our king puts kings down. Our king lifts kings up. Promotion doesn't come from man. Promotion comes from God. There's no king like our king there's no God like our God there's no rock like our rock this morning oh praise him hallelujah oh hallelujah I said all that to tell you this though if you're going to find him you got to find him by looking up you got to get your heads up you got to look up. Luke 21, 28 says, look up, lift up your eyes and look up for your redemption draws nigh. You're not going to find him tucking your head down. You're not going to find him looking on the earth for, for answers. Only way you're going to get connected with him like you need to get connected is you're going to have to lift up your eyes. You have to look up because he's a God that dwells on high. 
Amen. He's a God that dwells in the heavens. He is a God that's lifted up above all the problems, all the chaos, all the troubles, all the lies, all the slanders, all the disease in this world, all the wars, all the fightings. He's a God that's above all that. So if you want to connect with your God, you have to lift up your head and lift up your eyes and look up to Jesus because he said, if you will look up to me, come on, our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Too many folks got their heads down. Now, I'm going to preach. I know it's Christmas, y'all, but I'm going to preach. Y'all act like you don't want me to preach. You got to get your heads up. You got to get looking in the right place. You're not going to find redemption looking around here in this, this old world. There's no help down here. There's not not kind of help we need for our soul down here. And last time I checked, our souls have got to be saved. You're not going to get them saved through psychology. You're not going to get them saved through psychiatry or education. Thank God for all that. Or career or charisma. You're going to get your soul saved by the man Jesus Christ. And you'll get him to answer your prayer if you look up to him and say, Lord, I know you're up there somewhere. I know you're up there. God, you did all this. And my prayer comes to you. My hope isn't down here. My answer not down here. My hope is in Jesus this morning. Let's praise him one more time here together. Our hope is in Jesus. That's why we have to lift up our heads and our eyes. We got to look higher than the planes of this life and look above all this terra firma, all the trouble down here, all the trials down here, all the things down here. You got to lift your eyes above all that stuff because your God dwells in the high places. You have a tendency to follow the direction you're looking in. If you're looking down all the time, you're going to be going down. You can't drive a car looking down at the floorboard. You're going to be in trouble. Somebody else will be too. You can't go to heaven looking down here in this earth. Thank you, Brother Scott. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't rise up and fly with the eagles if you're going to stay around here with the chickens and buzzards. And God wants us to soar. He wants to lift you higher. He wants to pull you up. Come on, he wants to pull you out and get you off. Come on, somebody. He wants to get you out of here. He wants to lift you up. Come on, I believe that with all my heart. You can't soar with eagles and run with chickens at the same time. Anybody over there got the Holy Ghost this morning? Let me ask this again. Anybody got the Holy Ghost over this morning? That's a good time to praise the Lord right there. You can't climb ladders if you're afraid to get on the ladder. If you can stay down here, then just do that. But you're not going to go where God's called you to go. Because he's a God that's on high. And he wants to pull you up. And it's a sad thing that not enough folks want to go up with him. I'm ready to go up. If it's to heaven, that's okay too. I'm ready to go up, but I'm tired of hanging around down here. Come on, this old place ain't getting no better. This place is all messed up right now. There's a lot of trouble in this world, and I believe God's going to pull this church up and pull this church out. Come on, if you're a part of that, somebody give the Lord some praise. God, He's going to pull you higher. That's what he says. I'm going to pull you higher. So I told John the Revelator, he said, come up a little higher. And he showed him things in the spirit that no man had ever seen before. You're not going to get, you're not going to see those things. Hanging around and dragging around and being bummed out and keeping your head down. You're not going to see those things. You're not going to go those places God's got for you to go. If you're just content to stay where you're at. But David said, I will look up. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. 
We have a world now that needs to turn their heads to Jesus. We have a world now that needs to look up because hope is not here. Hope is fading fast in this world. There's only so much man can do. Matter of fact, the Bible says vain is the help of man. There's only so much man can do, but there's a God that has answers and there's a God that's powerful and there's a God that can meet your needs right where, it doesn't matter what your situation is, he's beautiful for situation. If it's a bad situation, if it's a good situation, if it's an ugly situation, our God is beautiful for situation hallelujah but you're going to go where you're looking if you're looking down you're going down so you need to get your head up looking into Jesus the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy it was set before him endured the cross despised and the shame looking into Jesus y'all there's, there's no other place to look to. Thank God for, for leaders of the world. Thank God for help of, of man. Thank God for all that. But there's, there, the, what we need most, what we need most today is, is, is spiritual help. We need, we need God kind of help. We need God kind of answers. We need God kind of moves. Thank God again for what all that man's done, but we need God moves right now. The church needs the God move. The world needs the God move. Every pastor, every saint needs a move of God in their life. But you need to make up in your mind, I refuse to be brought down by this world. I refuse, not the coldest day in you know where. I refuse it. I'm getting my head up. I'm getting my head out of the mully grubs. I'm getting my spirit lifted up out of the mully grubs and the, and the downtrodden and the, and, and, and the woe is me. And I'll never make it and all. I'm getting, I'm coming out of that thing. Come on, somebody. All right. I'm going to keep preaching if I have to. I'm going to preach till y'all get it. I'm going to preach till y'all get it. Somebody needs to look up right now. Look up. Somebody, your answer is in you're looking up. Your answer is in you crying up. Your answer is in you getting up and looking to God and reaching higher and stretching yourself and grow. Come on, stretch yourself. Grow yourself in God. Your answer is in your stretching higher this morning. Let's all stand today in the house of God. You have to stretch yourself. We've all probably know what it's like to pray in the heavens seem like brass. It seems like it's hard to get a prayer through. But what do you do in that case? You just keep putting prayers up. You just keep being faithful. What do you do when you don't get the answer you're looking for? You just keep, keep putting the prayers up. You don't give up. You don't give out. You don't give in. You just keep looking up. Keep calling to Jesus. Keep asking for help. Keep looking to the Lord. Keep on keep it on, Brother Joe. That's what you do. You keep on keep it on. In a world that's all goofed up right now and all kind of stuff going on, you just keep on keeping on. Jesus Christ is the answer. Jesus has got my answer. Come on, I'm going to find peace in Him. I'm gonna, in the midst of the storms, I'm going to find peace in the Lord. There's a peace that defies reason. There's a peace that defies logic. There's an answer that cannot come from man that only God can give this world. But you have to lift up your eyes. That's what he said. Look up. Don't look down. Don't look around you. Don't look at... Trouble, don't look at things. People. It's easy to do all that. How many knows it's easy to do? Look around this world too much, it's easy to get discouraged. Bad reports every day. Stuff happening every day. New things, weird things. Off the chart things. Unimaginable things happening every day. And if, you get, if you let that get in your spirit, it can mess you up. But this world's not my home. I'm just passing through, Sister Catherine. Our treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. Come on, somewhere beyond the blue.
That's where Je- that's the heavens. Come on, somewhere beyond the blue. Don't lay up for yourself treasures on earth where thieves come and rust comes and moths come. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where thieves can't get to and rust can't get to. The heavens is where your help is. The guy with the barn said, I got it all going for me. All of it was about right here, about right now. It was about him and, and this day and my stuff and, and my money and my fortune and my career. It was all about him. He said, here's what I'll do. My barns can't hold everything. I'm so rich and famous and I'm going to tear my barns down and I'm going to build bigger barns. I'm going to make room for all that I've got. And then the Lord came to him and said, thou fool. He said, what's going to happen when, when your soul is taken from you? What's going to happen to all your stuff? Where's it all going to go then? He said, so is everyone that lays up for their self treasures on earth and not in heaven. So I'm talking about the heavens, the God of the heavens, the God of high places, the God where your attention should be. The God where your hope should be. Hallelujah. If you look into man, you're going to be hurt. You look into somebody, you're going to be hurt. You better be looking up. This is a word from pastor this morning. It's not a Christmas message. It's Christmas time, but it's not a Christmas message, but it's a good message. Somebody needs to be look, turning their eyes back to the Lord. Somebody out there listening needs to be turning their eyes back to the Lord. We need to get our heads out of the muck and mire and the filth and the quagmire and, and, and the decadence of this world. The, the filthiness of it. We need to get our minds out of it. Get our minds out of the gutters. Get our minds out of junk of this world. We need to get our minds back on the Lord. We need to be looking back up. You, somebody that's got their head in the right place, don't matter what you do to them. You can lie, you lie on them. You can steal from them. You can cheat on them. You can hurt them. It don't matter their head's in the right place, none of that's going to matter to them. Amen. Because you, you, can't, you can't hurt a dead man. You can't hurt a dead man. And if we're, if we're dead in Christ, and our hopes are not in this world, but our hopes in the world to come, there's your answer right there. There's your answer. Some of y'all struggle because you ain't dead. You need to be dead in Christ. That way when somebody kicks you, and they'll kick you, You won't feel it. Because our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ and His righteousness upon Christ the solid rock, I say, and all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground. Let's lift our hands this morning in His presence, everybody. Come on, let's pray. Jesus, thank You. Thank You that we can lift our hands into these heavens today. Yes, God, You, Lord. Lord, You beckon us, God. You call for us to come a little higher. You call for us to come a little higher because you dwell not only among men here with us in, in our hearts, God, in, our, in the building here today, but you're the God that's on high. You're the God that's on high and you look below, God, and you behold the affairs of men. But you're a God, Lord, that desires to bring us higher and to pull us, Lord, out of the dilemma and the discouragements and the fears and despondency of this world. You're a God that desires to pull us Higher to extract us, God, from the ties and the entanglements, Lord, of this place. Get us higher into the spirit and the atmosphere of God. Into the heavenlies, Lord, where there's peace and joy and rest. And where there's no confusion, Lord, where there's no disease. Where there's no struggling, Lord. There's no backsliding. There's no quitting. There's no homelessness, God. There's, there's no hopelessness in your presence, God, where you're at, Lord, in that secret place of the most high God. If we'll abide there, Lord, we'll abide under the shadow of the Almighty, covered by your wings and under your feathers, God, we'll trust and reside under you, your care, Lord, in that place. You're calling every one of us in here too today, God, a higher 
place. Glory to God in the highest. One more time. We lift our hands to you, Father, as we close our, our service today. Lift your hands and lift your hands and pray to Him one more time as we close today. Father, we lift our hands, God, to you in this holy, sacred time, in this holy, sacred place. Yes, Lord, you're here in this sanctuary. Even now, God, your presence is felt by people. At home, people watching, God, they, they're, they're feeling your presence, God. They're worshiping you, Lord. Lord, whom have we to go to, Lord, but thee, Lord, whom? Whom your worships, who are we and the heavens, Lord, but thee? We have none, Lord, but thee. But we need none apart from thee, Lord, and we need none after thee. Because you're every answer, Lord. And you're every, you meet every need, Lord. You touch every heart. You're able, God, to lift every soul, every person up today. You're able, Lord. You're able. You've invited us to come a little higher, Lord. We feel that in the Holy Ghost. You've invited us to come up today. To join you, God, in the heavenly. To join you, Lord, in the high places of the Spirit of God. Oh, God. To, Lord, to say this world, God, is not our home. Lord, and these ties here don't bind us. They don't tie us down here, Lord. We're willing, Lord. We're willing, God. We're willing, Lord. Thank you, Lord, today. Thank you, God, today. Every eye's closed. Now every head's bowed, please. Every eye's closed. Every head's bowed. To feel the Lord talking to you today or just His Spirit kind of pulling you up a little bit higher, raise your hand, if you would, this morning. Raise your hand. If you just feel the Lord just trying to bring you up to another dimension, another level, another place. A place. Daniel, the Lord's talking to you, Daniel. And I believe you know what I'm talking about. If you let him, if you let him, he will help you do this. He'll get you there. If you, if you feel like the Lord wants to bring you a little higher, raise that hand. And then we're going to raise the other hand right now and I promise you we're going to close and we're going to thank God. We're going to thank God. Thank you, Lord, you're doing this in our lives today. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Lord. This is your work. Come on, somebody. Open your mouth. I can't pray for you. I can't do your praying. I wish somebody would open their mouths and pray right now. God, you know, Lord. You know, Lord. You know, Lord. Lord, we say no to this world. We say no to the lies of the devil and the enemy. We say no, Lord, to his promises. We say yes, Lord, to you. Another day, a better day, a better place, God. A deeper work, Lord, a higher, higher dimension, Lord. You, God, the God that dwells in the heavens, the God that dwells on high. What a privilege it is, God. What an honor that is that you would call us, God. What an honor, Lord, it is that you would beckon us to come, God, to that holy throne of mercy and grace, God, today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for every hand that went up. Thank you for everybody that's come today. Thank you, Lord, for everybody that's joined us from home today. Lord, let this, let this do something in our hearts and lives, oh God. Glory to God in the highest, glory. To be glory and honor to you, God, the God that sits on high. The God that's high and lifted up, Lord. But yet you're so close to hear this very humble, simple prayer today. You're, so, you're this close to us, Lord, to hear our prayer today. We thank you for it, Lord. And we bless your great name today. <clears throat> we bless your great name, God, today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. That's it. Go ahead and praise them. I'm done preaching. Go ahead and praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Amen. Thank you for coming out today. God bless everybody so much. So good, so sweet to have our precious children out today. Amen. We love you, everybody. Pray you have a blessed and safe holiday. No service here Wednesday. There is a... Uh... Sir? Okay. We, we have the wedding rehearsal here th- Wednesday night, so we'll be having that Wednesday afternoon. So there'll be no service here. We- no live stream Wednesday, but we'll see you back this coming Sunday. And uh, if you're able to make it to the, to the wedding, it'll be this Saturday at 1 o'clock. So, uh, everybody have a great Christmas. We love you. Thank you for the gifts and the cards. Thank you for all that you've done for us. We're grateful. And we love and appreciate you very dearly. Remember, Brother, uh, it's a funeral today for Pastor West, pastor in Pulaski, Tennessee, for many, many years. Two o'clock, we're at, Brother. Pulaski, Tennessee, Pastor West. He's a friend of ours. He passed away, so... Remember that family in your prayers as you would pray the West family. God bless you today. Thank you for coming out. We love you, everybody. Everybody have a great and a safe week, and uh, we look forward to seeing you back soon. Amen. Praise the Lord for you.